Welcome back to part two of the multi URL scraping tutorial video. Here we're going to take a deeper dive into the companies that were at this specific conference. Uh, we're going to demonstrate a little bit of regular expression or regex and also how to grab the email and web links that aren't available on text. That and much more on part two of this Untech video. Welcome to part two of the multi URL web scraping series. If you've not checked out the first video, you're going to want to do that because I give step by step examples on how we set this whole thing up, import the links, and I won't be going over any of that during this video. What we're going to be focusing on is the exhibitor. Um, URLs, right? Some of them have some elements that aren't in plain text, so we're going to go over that and we're going to go over how to use a couple examples of regex. So, as you remember, we kind of stumbled upon these sitemaps and we found a list of all the exhibitors for the Mobile World Conference. 914 URLs, we imported them, we cleaned them, and we pumped them right into our uh, webscraper.io so it will crawl every single one of those links and remember uh, webscraper.io does have a limit of a thousand I believe so I think we're hitting up on that um, so first thing we're gonna do is check out the links want to do a quick survey see what we're working with over here as you see we got a name stand location we don't care about we also have a country or region a description contact details city state abbreviation and phone number and we have an send the email and visit web page and if you notice on the bottom left hand right around here if you guys could see that uh, it shows that there is a mail too so there is an email address attached same thing there is a web page link but it's not available on the page meaning in plain text and we have uh, tags that are available if I scroll through some of the other ones looks like we have more of the same some international things that are going on over here an international phone number, another international phone number. This one just says Bellevue. Hmm. Bellevue, Washington. So we have we have a, a bunch of different variations. And anytime you have variations, you might not get it 100% on all of them, but you want to create the site map for what you want the most. In this case, we're going to be focusing on making sure it's right for the US. So. I'm going to put in the link that I want to use today, uh, which you could use any of them to build your sitemap. We're going to build it really quickly in front, of, in front of you right now, just as a quick refresher. We're going to add a select there. Text is fine. And we just want the company name here. I'm going to call that company. Quick check. Element preview lights up. Data preview. It gets the name of the company. I know we've got the right element. Next one we're going to go to is country and region. That looks like something we might want. Now there's an icon there. I'm not sure how that's going to affect it, but it looks like it gets it just fine. We're going to call that uh, country. I'm going to save that. We're going to get the bio. Maybe that's something we want to import into our system. Call that bio. Uh, and now we have these three boxes. Actually, you know what? Let's get the easy stuff we went over in the last video. For the tags, we're actually going to change this to the grouped element and we're going to select each one of these so hopefully it gets a uh, label element preview it gets them all uh, and we're going to call this tags uh, and we're just gonna element preview make sure it works data preview see what it's gonna look like and that's acceptable for us I'm gonna save it notice we're not clicking multiple or anything along those lines Okay, now we're getting down to the fun elements here. We have contact details and we have the send email visit web page. I'm going to do those first. So here, what, what we're going to see is that it's not on the page, but when I go to inspect, I see that it's under this class as social exhibitors and there's a mail to as in a H R E F. That's going to be important. And since I'm on it, I see right below it is the visit the web page also under an A. HREF, right? Uh, so back into our web scraper app, and I'm going to change this to element attribute. 
and I'm going to select what we want. We want this first box. And here it's going to use a email link, which I know is what we want. And we already determined that it's under an href, so we're going to type an href. And we're going to element preview and data preview. And it gets it. And it's going to get that mail too, but easier to edit that out uh, in post than to try to mess with it right now. So we're going to call that email. It's going to be pretty important. And we're going to replicate that same process for the web page, right? We're going to select element attribute. Click on visit web page, done. Call this web page. And we're going to tell it that we want href. And element preview, it's selecting the right one. Data preview, it is getting the right web page. So we're good there. So we got that element. Now we have this. We have a phone number and we have a location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this phone number. And text is fine. All right, because if we uh, if we go around here and click inspect, you could see it's just uh, it's all under one heading, right? Something special going on there, and I'm going to select it. Now you see, wait, it's not letting me select just the phone number; it's only letting me select the phone number and the state. Element looks like it's still selecting both, and as you see, I'm getting the state and the phone number. Now you could edit this out afterwards if you wanted, but we can use regex here. Now, uh, regex is very, stands for regular expression, it's very complicated. I don't know it, but I'm very good at searching out other people's solutions. So I was able to find a long string here that is meant to pull out phone numbers. Uh, and I couldn't begin to explain to you what that actually means. However, I know if I paste it in there, it's going to isolate the phone number. Now, is that going to work for international? We're going to find out. Let's keep that there right now, and let's click Save. And lastly, there is a, the second part of that is the city and state, which might not be worth all the trouble. We're going to click that there, and we're playing around with different ways to isolate that. I found a regex that basically is telling it to get the first two uh, words. Now, the problem is, is that, yeah. It's, uh, it's only getting the city here because it's San Francisco. If this was Ohio, uh, it would have got the state as well. So we can actually keep that uh, as just the city and figure out the state later. Let's call it city for now. But knowing that this is going to be different on the different site maps, it might ultimately be not even worth our time. We might actually want to just erase this and Let's call this city state and just get the whole chunk and then worry about editing it out, everything after the comma. Because uh, when we're looking at regex, we're sort of trying to figure out where can we tell it to stop or start. There's a comma here, there's a comma here, but we're not actually sure how everything else is set up. So this might be the easiest way just to get the data and then we could worry about editing out at a later point. So we're going to save that right there. We got a working sitemap. And now what we're going to look to do is see how that matches up with other ones and see when it runs through all the different pages, it, are things going to be set up differently, have elements and selectors moved around. So we're simply just loading another one of those links, and we're going to test it out. Element preview on the company works, on the country works, bio. And that's interesting. It sort of splits it into two. Let's see if that gets us all of it. Ah, look at that. It's only getting us the first part of it. That's unexpected. Let's go back into bio and see how that is set up. Could we capture the whole thing? All right, so we modified that and we we're able to get the whole thing. We're going to have to probably check back to see if that screws up our other map, but we're going to leave it in there for right now. Uh, email, let's go data preview. Looks like it's getting us the email fine. Uh, website. Website looks good to me. Now here's the interesting part. The phone, it's highlighting it, but it is a weird phone number. So let's see what it's going to get. And by weird, I mean just international. And it looks like it picks up that phone number pattern fine. So that's good to see. City and state, again, we left that completely open, so it's going to get everything. We'll probably use a, a formula in Excel to extract everything after, everything before the second comma or everything before the plus or, or some sort of permutation of that. But for now, that's fine. 
and tags is the only thing that we didn't look at yet. Let's data preview the tags. Looks like it's getting all three. So that looks good. We'll do one more for good measure. Uh, let's see if there's one that has a particular pattern. Get rid of that. Oh, okay, that's cool. Not entirely sure what that is, as I'm not cultured. But we could check everything here. We already know that the first couple work. That's been pretty consistent. The bio is capturing everything. That's good. And let's take a look at the contact details, which is what's probably going to be off. Let's check that out. All right. Looks like that worked. Good. So we're getting a good portion of them. And that's going to get everything. We could check the phone number if you wanted to and the web page. But I have no reason to believe that it's not. And that's it. And from that point, you're going to run the scraper, right? We're going to set it to scrape fast. If you're missing elements, delay this. And what we're doing right here is we're going to watch the first couple of screens go by, right? Let me make this big. Because we want to see if there's any other elements that maybe we didn't think of. Maybe a page, you know, a couple random pages have Facebook or LinkedIn profiles, or it's set up differently. As you see here, there's some that have very little data in them. So it's going to go pretty quickly. Right, nothing unexpected here. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything different. So we're going to assume that everything is pretty good to go. I'm going to minimize this screen. And last thing, I'm just going to check to see what data it's got so we don't get too far down the road and it ends up not being right. So what am I getting? Ignore the first two, it's just the links. Company looks good all the way down. Country looks all the good all the way down. Bio, remember some of them didn't have bio, so I'm okay with that. Tag, same thing, I'm okay with these nulls because some of them didn't have tags, but the tags are uh, coming through. Emails, again, looks like it's getting them when the emails are available. We did witness a couple pages that didn't have emails. Phone numbers and city state. Again, it, I'm looking at the consistency because usually it has both. Um, it seems to be getting it across the board. Yep, it seems like this one is a little bit weird. Not sure maybe that phone number pattern was a little bit off. Yeah, we see here it sort of got confused by the plus eight two for some reason. But good thing we got the second uh, category, so we're still able to capture it. And that's it. And you're just going to sit back, relax, do something else on your computer, wait for it to scrape. Uh, so thank you guys for checking this out. Remember, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, need any help on anything that you're scraping. We're going to be doing some more videos targeting some of the uh, up and coming conferences, company web pages, and other great places to capture some data for you. If you've enjoyed this video, like it, share it, subscribe to it. Really appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Thank you.